I see his body? You see his body? <clears throat> He's very skinny. You see that? He's super skinny. So I'm not feeling so good today, so I'm not actually working. It's a Saturday, but Rachel just brought this little guy. Let's turn him around. And he has something stuck in his teeth. And I just had a look, and the first thing I noticed is that his bottom teeth are growing in two separate directions. So there's a problem, obviously, there. But then when you look closer, I'm like, what the heck is that? It looks like a tumor of some sort. Okay, sweetheart, we're gonna fix that. But it's like a bead of some sort. You see that? And it moves, so I can probably remove it quite easily. So let me attempt that. Let me find someone to help with the camera. Okay, Elizabeth is here helping. So I think what happened is that that bead that's stuck there is almost acted like a brace where it, it actually, instead of correcting his teeth, it's pulled them apart. Yeah, it's bleeding a little bit. It's probably a little ouchy. Okay, sweetheart. Hey, Rachel, can you yeah. hold him real good? So we have minimal kind of struggle. Oof, and it smells. Yeah. It's stinky. really stinky. Cause... I may mean, need to get this away for you, buddy. You're gonna, you're gonna die. This stays here. Ooh, sorry. Can you hold this like this little hat like this for me? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. This guy. It, okay. I see. I'm gonna trim his front teeth first. Okay. That's what I need. So obviously, if the teeth are growing like this, I can't pull it off. So I have to trim these teeth first. One. Hi, right, baby. Is you a good boy? Okay. So try and bring him a little forward. Yeah, and then put your hand over. There you go. And then try and keep him more presented. It's just hard to do. I know. <laughs> Is a zip tie. I guess we gotta be careful. Oof. I gotta wash my hands. This is so smelly. Oh, poor baby. Well, let's look. Let's check in with him. How are you doing, my old man? Let me see. How are you doing? Let's look at that mouth. Oof, it's all messed up and infected. But so much better. I bet he already feels better. Oh, now I'm gonna do the top. I wanna get a little piece off of this one again. Let's see. 
Oh my goodness, so much better. There, well that's the best I can do. Nice to clean this out a little bit. I'm try to get some stuff out or some food residue there. Oh, buddy, does that feel better? <laughs> All right, well that looks really good, actually. All right, it's not completely even, but this is, at least now he, he can actually eat. Yeah, but I do want to check his molars, Absolutely. because having not eaten normally for so long, there's a chance that the molars have both grown, so let me get that food for that. Okay. Here. Okay. The teeth actually look great. They look good. Okay. Yay. Now let me get get him some banana see if he'll eat it. Okay. He's like, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I'm gonna see if he'll just have regular food because he should be able to eat anything now. Yeah. Oh, hungry baby! No, he said that they said that he wasn't, he wasn't eating anymore. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine. Yeah. Painful. Right. Oh, honey, did your first food? Yeah. Oh, honey, did your first food? Oh, honey, did your first food? He's a yummy cucumber. What's his name? Putting his little, little mouth around my <laughs> finger. He's so sweet. Oh, yum, yum. I love giving banana after a little trim or anything to do with if they haven't been able to eat. This is just so palatable and it's got the right amount of fructose in it to just give him a little, a little boost. Oh, sweetie. He's so gentle. He's not like biting. Thanks. 